Hey what's up, I haven't finished our full review of Poco M3 Pro yet, but yesterday we received the new Redmi 10 smartphone. I can't wait, so let's do a quick unboxing and first look of the new Xiaomi phone. Redmi 10 was released on August 2021. We have pre-ordered the new mobile device on AliExpress for $159. Now the price is $179. The new Xiaomi smartphone has Helio G88 chipset, 50 megapixels quad camera, 6.5 inch Full HD Plus display, 5000 mAh battery. As usual, we will post 5 videos about Redmi 10, such as unboxing, performance test, camera test, battery test, and pros cons. The links to all the videos will be in the description. This is the first video, and here we will do an unboxing and first look at Redmi 10. Let's get started! Unlike Poco M3 Pro, which comes in a bright yellow box, the new Redmi 10 smartphone has a simple white box. There is also the image of mobile device on the front side, and sticker with specifications at the bottom. I have the basic version of Redmi 10, with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The color is carbon gray. Inside the box there is a SIM needle, user manual, silicon protective case, smartphone, USB Type-C charging cable, 22.5W charger. The package contents of Redmi 10 is the same as Poco M3 Pro. Why am I comparing these smartphones in this video? I would rather do a separate comparison video later, because I think Redmi 10 and Poco M3 Pro are very similar. The new smartphone from Xiaomi is available in three colors – Carbon Grey, Sea Blue, and Pebble White. As you can see, I have a Carbon Grey option. It looks like the rear panel is made of metal, but actually it is a plastic. There is a Redmi logo on the back, as well as camera module. We will talk about camera a little later. There is no fingerprint scanner on the rear panel, because it is located under the power button. Next to the power button is volume rocker. Hybrid slot for dual SIM and microSD memory card is on the other side. The smartphone has 3.5mm audio jack, IR blaster, and speaker at the top. USB Type-C port and the second speaker are at the bottom. Yes, Redmi 10 has a stereo speaker. Later in this video we will check its quality. The smartphone has 6.5-inch display, and it is big enough for me. On the other hand, all the latest smartphones from Xiaomi and other manufacturers have 6.5 or more inches diagonal. However, the smartphone is very thin. It is only about 9mm. The dimensions of Redmi 10 are 161 by 74 by 9mm. I think because of the plastic body, the mobile device is very lightweight, only 182 grams. By the way, the previous smartphone, Redmi 9, was released about one year ago, but the differences with Redmi 10 in design and specifications are significant. The mobile devices are developing very fast. Do you agree? The display is one of the main features of the new Redmi 10, because it has a diagonal of 6.5 inches, Full HD Plus resolution, and 90 Gz refresh rate. You can choose a high refresh rate in the display settings, but actually the smartphone uses Adaptive Sync technology, so it automatically changes the refresh rate depending on the usage. For example, when you play games, then the phone increases refresh rate to 90 Gz, when watching videos, the refresh rate is 60 Gz. Adaptive Sync technology is saving the battery power, and you can't turn it off. Redmi 10 is the first smartphone on the new Helio G88 chipset, so I am very interested in performance of this phone. The next week we will post a performance test of Redmi 10 with benchmarks and games. By the way, I have to say that the new Xiaomi smartphone doesn't support 5G networks. It is not a problem for me, because there are no 5G networks in my country yet. As I already said, I have a version with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The smartphone is also available in models with 4GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, and 6GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal memory. So the performance test of Redmi 10 will be the next week. You know, I have already tested a camera of Poco M3 Pro. I don't really like it. However, the cameras of Redmi 10 look much better, because there is 50 megapixels main sensor, 8 megapixels wide-angle camera, 2 megapixels macro, and 2 megapixels adapt sensors. The front camera is 8 megapixels. I haven't taken pictures on Redmi 10 yet, so I will not say anything about the photo's quality. However, I like that there is a wide-angle mode. The battery of the new Xiaomi phone has a capacity of 5000 mAh. I have told you that there is 22.5 W charger in the package, but the smartphone supports only 18 W fast charging. The battery test of Redmi 10 will also be the next week. Finally, let's check a speaker quality. The smartphone has the first speaker at the top and the second speaker at the bottom.
reach 911, but I can connect you to fire. Just to hold the line. What does she look like? She was tall, pink hair, in heels. Hey, man, can you tell me how long it's going to take? As I already said, Redmi 10 doesn't support 5G networks. However, you can use 4G LTE bands. There is also dual band Wi Fi, Bluetooth 5.1, GPS, GLONASS, but no NFC. At first glance, the new Redmi 10 smartphone looks very good. I have bought it for only $159, but even for $179, it has a very good features. It is only the first video about Redmi 10 with unboxing and first look, and maybe my opinion of this device will change after full review. Watch all our videos about Redmi 10 on Tech Brothers YouTube channel. Thank you, stay tuned.